wrap it, it is time for the edit. Hi, Mimi Irons. And I'm David Farrell. Hiya. Yeah. So, hiya. Hiya, hiya to you hiya, as well. Pal. Nice to see you. Let's see what's making the cut this week. Murder, international espionage, and there's only one man to determine where the guilt lies, Mark Bonner tells us, how it feels to be on the right side of the law in his new drama. It's behind you. Oh, no, it isn't, David. There's still a full month of panto season ahead of us, and we'll preview some of the best. Plus, Sir Lenny Henry, Mini Driver and Scott's rising star Mirren Mack indulge our wildest fantasies in the latest instalment of The Witcher franchise. Now, I don't want to dim that wee festive glow Aww. that you've got going on for the whole month of December, David, yep. but we do need to start tonight with lies, intrigue, mind games, international fallout, just truly poisonous goings on. Amy, you promised me that we weren't going to cover the Meghan and Harry programme. I mean, it is all over everything at the moment, like a bad rash. Well, this item is not about unsavoury medical issues, and it's also not about the Netflix superstars, a.k.a. the Sussexes. It's actually about the old pal of yours, Mark Bonner. Oh, Mark Bonner. It oh, is Mark a Mark Bonner. catastrophe. I didn't spot what you were on about there, Amy, no, but I? don't you guilt me because I was in the line of duty Three. to talk to Mark Bonner about his new drama, Litvinenko, which airs on the new streaming service ITVX on Friday. Good grief, you really do talk a load of shit, oh. land. Useful though Litvinenko's statements have been so far, we do not yet know who it was that tried to kill him. We do not know what with, we do not know where, we do not know why. I know why. It's, it is a kind of roller coaster ride of emotions, really. David Tennant plays Alexander Litvinenko, who was murdered in 2006, assassinated in 2006 in London, uh, leading to a, a kind of huge, one of the biggest police investigations um, in the history of the Met. A story about good police work. There's no bent coppers in this one. You play Scotland Yard's detective, Clive Timmons. What was it like to play that role? He was the one that led the investigation, basically. He's a, he's a fantastic bloke, Clive. He's uh, still around. He's not in the police anymore, but um, he's, a, he's a, an incredible leader, um, a, a brilliant man-manager and a great detective. And it's uh, down to him and all the, um, the boys and girls, as he'd call them, at the, uh, in SO15 that, that they did, they were eventually successful. The real Clive Timmons was yeah. involved in the production of this. He's consulted ITV and parts of it as well. So what's it like playing someone who is so heavily involved in the actual production? On one hand, a kind of immense privilege. On the other, immensely terrifying. Um, because, you know, I don't know if he's seen it yet, but um, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of uh, more nervous about that than I ever was when I was doing it, you know. Um, it's a, it's um, it's an honour to be honest. Sat down to find the tea already here, already ordered, already getting cold. So why drink it? Did you get to spend time with him? Did you learn from him at all? You know what actually went on in the real story? Yeah, I, I, Clive was really generous with his time. He took me through his life um, which led up to the you know the um, Livinenko case arriving on his desk and then took me through the case and was going to be visiting the set so and and it was at a time when I was there and I wasn't actually on set so I went and said hello and realized he's about three times the size of me <laughs> big fella there's a disclaimer at the start of the first episode, you know, this is based on real events, but things have changed in it. Um, we seem to be in a world now where, you know, broadcasters are having to put some sort of disclaimer at the start of... You're referring to some kind of <laughs> royal drama. Yes. And do you think we're in a world now where people perhaps can't quite tell the difference between what is a dramatisation of something and, you know, what's a documentary? Yes. <laughs> In a word. Yes. This was the time. If something is good and parts of it are dramatised for whatever reasons, I think if it's a good drama, the overall feel and, the you know, as long as the story is true, and the story is true, you know, um, I'm not 
I'm not referring to the Crown now. Our story. I need to report a murder. Whose murder? Mine. And what was it like working with David Tennant on this? Great cast. Fantastic cast. Um, I uh, didn't have anything to do with David at all. <laughs> I don't meet him. Alexander dies before Clive gets involved, obviously, in the investigate. Well, not quite, but what a performance. I watched it all. I binge watched it myself last week, all four eps. But I mean, you know, that performance he gives in episode one is just astonishing. In prison, I tried the guilt, but it didn't work. Guilt's about looking back. Whilst we've got you, Mark, season three of Guilt. Yes. Filming has begun. Yes. Right. The so, filming's almost ended. Almost done, right, OK. A and this is going to be the, the third... Sorry, I'm having tea. <laughs> Check what's in that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, it's it, the, the scripts are absolutely fantastic. And we're, we're all really excited about it, all of us. Before all that, we're looking forward to uh, Litvinenko coming to ITVX. It is gripping and it is a must watch. Uh, Mark, as always, thank you for your time. Good to chat to you. Andrew David, pleasure. Check you with a joke. Speaking of woeful which, David, jokes. woeful jokes. What do you get if you combine some woeful jokes, some pretty painful An puns, interview. outrageous innuendos, people dressing up like absolute idiots, and maybe some D-list celebs thrown in for good measure? The edit! What he said. Just the edit. <laughs> a standard edition of the edit. How absolutely dare you and you, cameraman Gav. We cater to C-list celebrities at the very worst, I think, we we'll find. <laughs> well, you must be talking about panto season then. Bang Amy. on. Oh. Now, whilst the stars are going to see in a read roundup of festive shows that happen across Scotland this month, they're not household names everywhere. They are here, though. But they are bringing the house down at theatres right across Scotland. Let's take a gander then, Mother Goose. Well, I'm more widow twang. Thank you. Sinbad, Sinbad, don't leave me. I know you want adventure, but I want my teenage acne covered pubescent boy back in his bedroom playing Fortnite. Oh, Sam, oh, oh, I know they... My son's just gone off on a sea adventure. Do you know what? I'm going to follow him. You can follow him too. Why don't you come along to, to see the Pat of Sinbad at the Brunton Theatre in Musselburgh till December the 31st? If you're brave enough, or if you think you've got the guts, come to Treasure Island. We've got sword fights, songs, and lots of fun. And don't forget, bring your parrot. Treasure Island! Treasure Island! Treasure Island. Come on home theatre till the 24th of December. Hello there. It's Janice, Jeanette, Jurassic, Jamelia, do you fancy a bit goose here? More goose to you, and I'm here doing in Stirling Stella at the McRobert Arts Centre all the way through to the 31st of December. Oh, honestly, I've got my run ragged doing here two shows a day. I hope you'll come and see us. Hi, everybody. My name is Hannah Bazocchi, and I am playing Cinderella in Dundee Rep's Christmas show, Cinderella. Come along for some fantastic music, hilarious jokes, and fun for all of the family. I can't wait to see you here. <laughs> Give a hook into that Peter Pan. Do you? Ah, oh, he's my nemesis, you see. Your nemesis? What has he ever done to you? Oh, he's made my life a living hell. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, here. What's that noise? I can hear a ticking. Tick oh. tock, tick. What's that? Oh, 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 I better go. Where, where, where are you going? It, 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 was, it was just my watch. Bit like folks. Here at His Majesty's Theatre in Aberdeen, we tack flight on a roller coaster ride of thrills and spills in the pantomime adventures of Peter Pan. We've got Brendan Cole as a strictly evil Captain Hook who plans to run circles around Peter Pan with his fancy footwork. I was going to challenge him to a flamenco dance off, but I was too constipated. Aye, it couldn't even pass so doubly. <laughs> See you in Panto anytime soon. Oh no, you won't. Well, that's a 
That's a real shame, <laughs> that is. is. That? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now, I know we love all, we all love a good Netflix drama that we can binge oh. at this time of year, David, but I feel like this next one, everyone's seen it. Tell me more. You know the one where Naomi Watts moves into the house next to Mia Farrow and somebody starts messing with them and sending them threatening letters? The Watcher? Yeah, The Watcher. I just don't know why we're doing it this week when one, we've already done it, it's been out, and we're after a bit of escapism. I don't want a family being terrorised from a Christmas <laughs> oh, viewing. Amy Irons, I need a bit of escapism from you, so it's just as well that Jodie McCallum's here to tell us about The Witcher, oh. ya wally. It all began 1,200 years ago, in the elven golden era, before the arrival of humans and monsters in the world. I've taken control of the entire continent. Faced with chaos, the people will always choose order. So, Lenny, we need to stop meeting like this. We keep meeting in these <laughs> formal situations. Do we need to go for, like, dinner or drinks or something? Do you know hey, what I mean? Getting lucky already. The, the HBO like... hasn't even started. <laughs> Call security. Get, get, ah! get, get Call her out security. Get, get her out. Get <laughs> and we find yourself in another fantasy genre series. Are you just called to these now? Um, well, I'm a fan. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm part of this because I've been reading things like this since I was a, a, a boy. I love fantasy, I love sword and sorcery, sci-fi, superheroes, all that stuff. So for me, none of my family is surprised. Oh, you're playing a bad guy with an evil stuff, are you? <laughs> yeah, go on, Obviously. Len. <laughs> Obviously, but none of my family is surprised at this. But the general public might be. But um, mm. this is something, these are worlds that I love. Yes, so I'm in The Witcher Blood Origin, which is a prequel to The Witcher that we know today. It's set 1,200 years before this, and it's set in the elfin world. So I am an elf, which is very fun. Um, uh, I'm an elf princess, actually, and this story, this four-part uh, series, tells the story that's been lost to time in this Witcher that we know today. And it's the story of the first prototype Witcher's creation and also the events that lead to the conjunction of the spheres where the worlds of men, monsters and elf all smash into one. The monoliths are causing tears between worlds. When I found out I was getting to keep my voice, I was over the moon because it's amazing. We, we've had plenty of kings and queens, and so it's just lovely. It's, and I, I love working with my, my mother tongue. You're a bard. I am a storyteller. I need you to sing a story back to life. What made you want to step into this world and take on this role? Gosh, you know, I mean, you know, as a kid, it's all about dressing up and fantasy, like all the reasons that I wanted to become an actor are this make-believe world. And now we have the ability to really go into that, not just in rarefied movies. It's unavoidable, like yeah. you, you having an awareness of The Witcher, right? It's like one of the biggest shows on television. So I did, I did know a little, and I love Henry. Um, and so I did know a little bit, but I didn't know as much as I know now. It's an amazing world to, to, to be part of. So much to say and do, so little time. That's been the edit for yet another week, David. There we go. Done and dusted. Good night. We'll see Cheerio. you next time. Bye. Bye. See ya.